study showed that about one in five people are willing to try a new product as long as it comes from a brand that they like. So how do you know how much people like your brand? By analyzing your brand sentiment. More details inside the video. Hey guys, it's Tia from Brand24, and today I wanna to talk about brand sentiment. Um, so your brand sentiment is all about the attitude or feelings that people have towards your brand, which can be positive, negative, or neutral. Basically, it measures how much people like your brand, which can have a pretty significant effect on your sales and customer loyalty. So a lot of businesses will track traditional metrics that revolve around tangible numbers instead of feelings. Uh, they tend to emphasize quantity, such as your number of likes, shares, comments, followers, views, views, mentions, and so on. This is a really good place to start since these figures will tell you a lot about the kind of content that gets people to interact with your brand. But um, audiences can always decide to interact for a number of reasons. Maybe your content made them feel happy so they liked it. Or maybe it brought up feelings of nostalgia which made them want to share it. Or it could be that there was something about your ad that just kind of annoyed people. Um, this also tends to trigger responses and reactions. So knowing how people are responding to your brand is just as important as knowing how many and that's why looking at the numbers is a really good start but it shouldn't stop there. It's really important to extend your focus beyond the quantity of all those interactions and consider the quality, especially since we all prefer to buy from brands that we know and like, which makes factors like your brand awareness and brand sentiment extremely relevant. So measuring brand awareness tells you how familiar consumers are with your brand and how well they can tell it apart from all the other brands out there offering similar products and services. Um, brand sentiment, on the other hand, shows you how people feel about your brand and how much they like it. So to measure um, or analyze public sentiment towards your brand, you want to look beyond your quantity of interactions and focus on metrics of quality. So this means paying attention to all the emotions surrounding your brand. Like, do they contain positive or negative sentiment? Um, does the message that you're sending make people feel good about supporting your business? Um, so measuring sentiment is like, it's an analytical process, which makes it a bit more time consuming, especially if you try to do it manually, uh, but it's what allows companies and businesses to see how people are really responding to all their marketing, PR, and branding activities, and whether they're sending the right message. So measuring brand sentiment actually goes um, hand in hand with measuring brand awareness, since you need to track mentions of your brand to do both. Like you can use a social listening or media monitoring tool like Brand24 to see how many mentions you have for measuring brand awareness, and then you can use the internal sentiment filter to separate these mentions by a positive, negative, or neutral sentiment. This is extra helpful if you want to track public sentiment towards a brand in more than one language. Uh, brand24 provides sentiment analysis for 93 languages currently. So in general, sentiment analysis is something that uses artificial intelligence and machine learning to classify text, like mentions of your brand, as positive, negative, or neutral. Natural language processing algorithms automatically identify the sentiment behind your mentions so that you don't have to do it manually. But human language language is a complex matter, and it can be hard sometimes even for people to pick up on sarcasm or subtle nuances, let alone man-made algorithms. So for example, most language algorithms would classify this mention as positive, even though love it is being used in a negative way to describe how this person feels about their computer equipment falling apart. Um, fortunately, most people don't use sarcasm very often, so it's not something that would have a huge impact on your sentiment analysis. It just it illustrates the importance of context. Now, analyzing brand sentiment lets you see the bigger picture of how the public feels about your brand, which helps you manage your reputation, improve engagement with your customers, and, of course, create sales funnels that convert better. Um, in general, if your brand sentiment is positive, then you know you're on the right track. But if you see a lot of negative opinions about your brand, then you know it's time to switch to public relations mode and look closely at the context of those negative mentions so that you can take care of any potential PR situations, which is uh, probably something that you would only notice if you were monitoring your brand regularly in the first place. Um, all right, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions or something to add about brand sentiment, just let me know in the comments section below. And if you have found this video helpful, feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where I will be sharing new tips on how to do even more in social media and digital marketing each week. Um, thanks again for watching. I hope you learned something new, and I will see you next time. Bye.